So welcome and I want to introduce you to a thing called Web Talk. If you haven't heard of Web Talk, um, maybe you've come here because you've heard of Web Talk before. Maybe you are coming here because I've made you curious about what it is. Um, but Web Talk is billing itself as the next kind of Facebook killer. It really is the kind of combination of two major things. One, Facebook, and two, LinkedIn. It has aspects of Instagram, and uh, they're talking about building a, a, a marketing platform on it that might even begin to try and rival Amazon and so on. Um, but for the most part, it's Facebook meets LinkedIn. Why is that? When you sign in to this, you can create a profile and the profile when you add people, so there's me, uh, when you add people, you can put your interests, which become tags, presumably for people to look up. You can put your experience and your education. Presumably this is the LinkedIn aspect of it. You can put in languages, all sorts of different things, put in your uh, websites and email addresses and so on. But when somebody requests that you add them, let's say Julius Grimm, who looks like a poor little damaged puppy. Anyway, let's say I decide to add Eugulus Grimm. I have a chance to make them a personal contact and or a professional contact. Now, I don't know this person, so I'm going to make them a professional contact. Now, this is no different from Facebook if you've been using it the way that lists were intended. So if you have friends lists and you create lists which are family uh, close friends, acquaintances, colleagues, whatever. You created those lists, and as people add you on Facebook, you add them to those lists so they can only see what that list can see. Then this is the same. But what this has done is it's created this upfront and made it um, a mandatory part of approving the person. So now I can say this person is a professional acquaintance, or I can say the person is a personal acquaintance or a family member or a friend, but this is not. So I say, are they just an acquaintance at the moment or are they an investor, a donor, a client, a customer, a colleague, and so on, which makes it easy. And you've got to make that decision. It starts automatically as it's as if it's a professional acquaintance. That's what it does uh, sort of by default, but you still, it starts like this. You still have to pick one and then that's by default. Then you can put in, uh, you can put in tags. You can put in tags about, are they a, blogger are they uh i mean i don't know that so i'm going to take that off but uh how do you know them what industry how did you meet them just a tag so when you want to search for that person you don't remember their name you can search for the acquaintance uh you can search for them as an acquaintance via their tags so then you fill in all of your details now this is uh got about half of they boast about half a million subscribers to this already and they really do believe that it's going to be the biggest thing since sliced bread. Um, but just to make sure that it gets big as fast as possible, it's an invite only network. And the people who start at the beginning inviting the most people are going to be uh, uh, getting the best opportunity to actually make money from this because they're saying they are going to give away up to 50% of their uh, revenue from which uh, Facebook makes tens of billions. Uh, so if they make as much revenue as that one day, or if they make even a billion, then they're giving half a billion away to all of the people that helped build the network up front. It's, it's not going to happen forever, presumably. It might. Because, I mean, they could because they're only giving away half their revenue. Um, but it won't necessarily happen forever. And whatever happens, the people who got in first will end up making the most money. Um, but you don't have to get in it. You don't have to be involved in it. But if you had the chance to make lots of money from all of the advertising revenue being spent on Facebook, simply because you invited all of those people, which you did, then you'd be making a fortune from Facebook right now because they will be paying you monthly. So uh, they will be paying you. Let me just see. Actually, here's a quick little video ABC interview with uh, the guy. We want to take you inside a local tech company that believes that it can be the next Facebook. Here it is right here. We created an account so that we could get exclusive access. ABC Action reporter Sean Daly is in St. Petersburg, where the new social media site says it gives users more control and more privacy.
RJ Garbowitz is working some seriously long hours these days. About 20 hours a day. That's what happens when you're trying to build the next Facebook. I have five gazillion social media options out there, huh? right? Why do I want to be in the website? It allows you to manage all of your unique relationships based on where they belong in their real life, where they should be in the virtual. RJ says web talk, which is free, allows users more control about who sees what. Want to be buddies with your boss, but don't want them to know everything you're up to? Send your permissions before you connect with them. Give them access to your professional information, give them access to your personal information, or both. Web talk looks familiar, but it also merges elements of LinkedIn, Instagram, and online marketplaces. It's like the best of everything. The best of everything. Best of Instagram, best of Facebook, best of Twitter. Everything. Yeah. Web Talk is still invite only and is basically paying early users who help build their audience. RJ says so far, so good. Web Talk, he says, already has almost half a million users. Why? Five years from now, where do you see Web Talk being the number one social media? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, for sure. In St. Petersburg, Sean Daly, ABC Action News. So, pretty confident, but then every single uh, self proclaimed Facebook killer that has happened in the last 10 years has also been pretty confident, but we'll see. It will definitely have a tremendous start. Um, it will definitely pay a number of people to begin with. Whether it will be able to suck up all of the advertising revenue that Facebook's getting or not will remain to be seen. Uh, there it will certainly, a lot of people will start spending money on ads to begin with because it's a brand new place to be. But if it's populated exclusively by people who are advertising and not people who are buying, then that won't last very long. So it remains to be seen. Uh, I just want to show you a little something here that um, the founder actually talks about. So he says, here we go. What makes it better than the rest? A lot. It's in a league of its own. <clears throat> uh, want to make money? Why the affiliate program is a lottery, he says. Well, we can get to that shortly. But he says, the affiliate commission plan, 10% revenue share for life paid on the advertising, premium feature purchases, transaction fee, and job service revenues generated by the people you invite refer to webinar, a web talk. Now, it's tier, two tiers because it's also the people that you invite and the people that they invite. You have to have a completed profile to 100% that includes your real name, photo, and work information. This will be verified. Uh, by the way, this affiliate program hasn't been launched yet. Their whole program is still in beta, but they're getting as many people on board as possible. And I believe anyone that you get on board right now is going to be included in your network of people that you'll receive remuneration for um, once it launches. Uh, be one of the first 1 million qualified affiliates to refer, invite a user who purchases a premium package, monthly or annual, and you will earn. So you have to be completed and verified. You have to be one of the first million qualified, uh, and you have to be a user. You have to invite and refer a user who purchases a pro feature package, monthly or annual. annual. Then you will earn 10% revenue share for life on all revenues generated through a five-tier referral network. People you invite, who they invite, and who they invite through five degrees of separation, five tier. 10% your referrals, 10% tier two, 10%, 10%, 10%. That's up to 50% of Web Talks revenue for life. Okay, you can read this in your own time. But anyway, sounds interesting. Uh, this is invite only. If you haven't already been invited, um, uh, get in contact with me by the details, wherever they are, or however you found out about this, and um, I will send you an invitation or find someone who's already on there and get an invitation from them. But uh, half a million people already, that's growing exponentially. So if you're going to do anything, you probably want to do it fairly quickly. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, that's that for now. I will see you on there and we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed because Facebook is very expensive and uh, this does provide a whole bunch of extra privacy uh, options, which allows you to connect to everybody and put them into categories that are going to be easier for you to manage and control up front. But remains to be seen how it will go. Be one of the first to get paid and see if that pay is ongoing if the company continues. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it was uh, Kevin Harrington, I believe, is one of the people backing this, uh, one of the original sharks and Shark Tank and billed as the uh, guy who invented the infomercial. So he certainly uh, knows where money is uh, 
And as I say, it remains to be seen. But uh, we'll see you over there and um, talk to you then. Bye.